Salutations, crustaceans. I'm Lobster, and today we're going to be reviewing the Fender Steve Harris Signature P-Bass. Let's do this. This is the Fender Steve Harris Signature P-Bass. Now this is a made in Mexico instrument, but it has a price tag of $1299, $1300. And today I'm gonna to be giving my opinion on whether or not this bass is worth it. Hi BB. Now this isn't just a P bass with a fancy paint job. There are some interesting aspects to this which we're gonna be going over. Oh, hi. Mwah. The body finished in this really neat striped white with a Manchester United uh, logo here is a maple P bass body and that makes this thing a boat anchor at 11 and a half pounds Yeah, this is a heavy bass Accenting this body is a mirror pick guard and we have a Seymour Duncan Steve Harris signature P pickup here This is a P bass. So we have a master volume and master tone control. That's it and down at the bridge is the Fender high mass uh, badass style bridge here. It has the zinc saddles as opposed to the brass ones. However, it's a nice-ish high mass bridge. The neck is a 20 fret maple on maple neck, old school styled neck with a seven and a quarter radius. Uh, we also have a 41 millimeter nut width and a full gloss all over this neck. Now, one major gripe and this is the same case with the Getty Lee bass as well. The truss rod adjustment requires you to remove the neck. The area to adjust the truss rod is down at the heel of the neck, and there is no channel, meaning you have to remove the neck or damage the finish trying to adjust the truss rod unsuccessfully. <laughs> so we actually had our friend Dom route out a channel so we could adjust the neck, because this neck did not take too kindly to the climate change. Big thank you to friend of the channel, Ed, for letting me borrow this bass and do a review on it. He is down in Florida, and I am up here in New England, so there is definitely a little climate shift, and this neck did not like it at all. This required a major adjustment, and we couldn't access the truss rod compartment. I took it to Dom, he made a channel, and now we can adjust the truss rod no problem. However, I think that is a huge design emission for a $1,300 instrument. I want to be able to adjust the truss rod without removing the neck on my $1,300 P-Base, right? <laughs> man, oh man. Anyways, up at the headstock, we have the Fender regular style tuners. These are not the lightweight fluted tuners found in the American bass. And we have the old school Fender Precision Bass logo. Now, let's go ahead and turn this bass around. And around back, we see nothing. We see the white finish. We see the neck plate with no Fender logo or anything on a $1,300 instrument. Wow. <laughs> and we have the gloss neck here with the old school skunk stripe. And up at the headstock, we can see that these are just regular style tuners, not the Fender fluted lightweight ones. And we have a Steve Harris signature print up there as well. Now, how much does the Fender Steve Harris signature P-Bass weigh? Again, this bass weighs 11 and a half pounds. Maple body, a maple neck, Mexican fender makes for a big old boat anchor. This is a heavy bass for sure, and I would not want to wear this on a long gig. And how much does this bass cost? Again, $1,300. And I don't believe it comes with a case because it's a Mexican bass. Correct me if I'm wrong, but $1,300 for a made in Mexico P bass where you have to remove the neck to adjust the truss rod. Oh. <laughs> now I know you're all wondering, what does this bass sound like? You all know what you need to do. Go ahead and pinch that like button so my hand will turn back to normal. Thanks. So that is the Made in Mexico Steve Harris Signature P-Bass. 
Again, this base features the Seymour Duncan Steve Harris signature pickup, which I believe you can get for around $100 new. <laughs> so yeah, this is a P base. It is a very heavy. It's balanced really well because the body weighs a million pounds, but uh, yeah, this has some meaty tone to it. get the action as low as I'd like on this particular instrument. Uh, I could probably tweak it a little bit more, but uh, I don't want this thing to shift too much and then require a full setup when it goes back to its owner. So yeah, the action is a little bit high on it. So that is the Steve Harris Made in Mexico signature P bass here. Very simple bass. We have a volume and a tone control. What you just heard was the volume at 100% and the tone at 100%. Let's take the tone to about 50% now. Here's what that sounds like finger style. And here's the tone all the way down. Not a bad sounding P bass, but you can get this Steve Harris signature pickup for like $100 or so from Seymour Duncan. So I don't think that alone justifies the $1,300 price tag of this particular instrument. Playability wise, the U-shaped neck is pretty comfortable. It is on the thicker side. However, I couldn't really dial in the action where I want it to, and it is sitting rather high still, even after a bit of a setup. Uh, yeah, so playability wise, I'm not really digging this instrument too much, but tonally, I think the Seymour Duncan Steve Harris signature P pickup sounds nice. <laughs> Now let's grab our pick and see what this bass sounds like with a pick tone at 100%. some nice bite to it. Let's take the tone down to about, let's take it all the way down, why not? Still using the pick. Now let's put the pick away, turn the tone back up, and see how she slaps. Not bad. It sounds nice though. Again, slapping is a bit hard due to the high-ish action that I'm dealing with here. Finally, let's go ahead and throw some drums behind this bass. Thank you. 
So here are my final thoughts on the Steve Harris Signature P-Bass from Fender. For a made in Mexico instrument, the $1,300 price tag and just the lack of adjustability for the truss rod, a few other things, it makes this kind of a meh value. And I would call this a buy for someone who is like a hardcore Iron Maiden fan and wants this as like a display piece. But for a practical player's instrument, I think you could do better. And if you want to make a real like Steve Harris P-Bass, you can probably just get the pickup and get a P-Bass that plays better than this one. I found the neck a bit difficult to dial in and I really couldn't get the action as low as I'd like. Tonally, it sounds great, but playability wise, the weight and the action leave a lot to be desired here. And that makes the $1,300 price tag a bit tough to swallow. So what am I going to rate the Steve Harris signature P-Bass? I'm gonna rate this bass two claws out of five. It is not a great value in my opinion. And only for someone who's again, a diehard Iron Maiden fan that wants this particular instrument. But the weight and the playability are definitely limiting factors for making this a daily driver P bass, in my opinion, at least. Let me know what you all think about the Steve Harris signature P bass down in the comments below. Well, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching everyone. Be sure to like, subscribe, join our Discord channel, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think about the Steve Harris Signature P-Bass from Fender. And as always, until we groove again.